Angie and I thought we'd go outside today because I live in New England and we have winter here. Um, it snowed overnight and it's really pretty outside. Um, sorry I'm backlit, the sun is behind me, but um, anyway this was the best setup I could get. It's beautiful out but I wanted to talk about um, how to still look chic even when it's cold outside. So um, living here I have lots and lots of coats. I have you know different ones for each length of sweater that I have um, and for each different occasion and I find that um, it's really tempting to wear the exact same snow boots and the same ski jacket every day. You know I don't really want to look like um, I'm going to a football game every day. So I have um, a selection of coats and I thought I'd just show you a few of them today so that if you live in a cold weather climate, you could um, get some tips on how to still look chic even though you're going out in the cold weather. Now it's about 25 degrees out here today, so um, pretty chilly, but I am snugly warm because I'm wearing this really cozy, um, it's a faux suede, it's a microfiber coat. I actually got this at Marshall's a couple of years ago. And um, it's a pretty loose cut, so it's nice because you can fit a lot of bulky sweaters underneath. I find that a lot of the coats um, now, the sleeves are cut very, very tight, and you can't even fit a sweater underneath. And I have a lot of sweaters with rolled collars and you know big ruffles in the front and big sleeves, and you wanna be able to fit them inside your coat. So this is a full length coat, and it keeps me snugly warm head to toe. And like I said, it's faux suede, um, so it's actually made out of microfiber, and it costs under $100. And I've put with it some really warm black leather gloves and um, this nice uh, burnout velvet scarf. All right, so that coat was for um, when you're going out usually at night and you're a little more dressed up. So that's more of a dressy coat. Now this is more my super cold New England. You know, it, we get these cold snaps and it can be 16 degrees for a couple weeks at a stretch. So I just got this coat this year for Christmas um, and this is my new go-to coat for the cold weather. This is a Kenneth Cole reaction coat and it's a um, just above the knee length sort of puffer coat. And I really love it because it has this really super big collar that if it's really cold and I need to be outside for a while, I can um, zipper this collar all the way up and it's, you know, just protects me from the cold. But it's not that bad out today. So um, in general, it just is a nice looking collar and it's got this nice ribbed fabric. Um, my sunglasses are fogging up as tends to happen out here in the cold, but these are, um, Vera Wang glasses that I got at Kohl's and this scarf I love it's an infinity scarf it's a thinner material but because I can wrap it around three times it you know keeps my whole neck enclosed in really soft warmth and this is from Urban Outfitters now if you have not gotten yourself a pair of texting gloves yet um, I really recommend these things I love them I got these for Christmas from my mom and as you can see they have on the tips of the thumb and the index finger, they have a little piece of um, fabric that conducts, I don't know how it works, it conducts the um, electricity, I guess, from your finger so that uh, if your phone rings or you need to text someone, you don't have to take your gloves off to do it. So these are great. These are really thin, so my hands are not that warm right now, so I'm going to stick them in my pockets. And um, when I go back to show you the whole coat. Um, now this has a belt, and I usually just leave the belt buckled in the back like that but if it's really cold then you can certainly buckle it in the front and that keeps all the heat in your body keeps you nice and snugly warm And I'm going to go from longest to shortest, so my next coat will be a little bit shorter than this one. For my next coat look, I have a gray wool cloth coat, um, and this is one of my very favorite coats. I love this one. I feel like no matter what outfit you put it with, you can dress it up, you can dress it down. It looks chic, it looks casual, it looks fancy. It's a great coat. This is a Mark by Marc Jacobs coat and um, I think I got it at Lord & Taylor. Now it has um, this really nice leather detail at the cuff. I don't know if you can see it right there. And it also has leather on the other side of the belt. 
I hope you can see the details on these because I am in the shadows. Maybe if I turn sideways, I can get a little more sun. Hold on, let me try it this way. A little more sunshine and you can see the coat better. Now, I love this one because it's got this, it's uh, styled like a trench, so it's got this big front placket that you can button all the way up here and you can turn the collar up and put a scarf on the inside and it just keeps your, you know, really the neck for me is where I need to stay warm because that's where I feel like all the cold air escapes. And as long as my neck is warm, then I feel like I'm, I'm good. So this with the collar up, it keeps my neck so toasty warm. I never get cold in this. Now, um, I put this hat on today because I love to wear a hat. And also, as you know, all the heat escapes from your head. So if you're going out for, um, on those really cold days or for any extended period of time, it's great to wear a nice little hat and this also keeps the sun off your face. Um, so you can wear this coat buttoned or unbuttoned and also it's got a belt which I have tied right now. I never really use the buckle, I always just tie it in place. So here's the full view on this one. You can see that all buttoned up, it looks terrific. And you can also wear it open on a warmer day. So you can see the coat if you wear it open. It has a nice drape to it and it has a nice swing. And it just looks terrific, open or closed, and it's really warm and toasty. Okay, and last but by no means least is this short um, sort of gunmetal gray puffer that I got at uh, Saks Fifth Avenue. And um, this is just an adorable little coat, very casual. This is what I wear to run to the grocery store and do my everyday errand. It's uh, just a cute little puffer. You don't even need a scarf with it if you're gonna zip it all up. It has all this, all this puffiness up in here. So like I said, the neck is so important and this really keeps my neck warm. Um, but I find that with all that puffiness, I really have to kind of keep my hair inside the jacket. So I'll do more of a part it in the back and pull it like that and then pull that up and wear it like that. So this one has a belt, but because it's so short and I'm so long-waisted, the, the, um, the belt loops on things are usually way too high on me. I have a very long torso, so I usually don't wear the belts a lot because they end up being around my rib cage instead of um, down at my waist. So what I do is, like I did on the other coat, I'll just buckle it in the back, or like with this one, I just tie it in the back. And it just gives the coat a little more shape in the front, but then you don't have to be messing around with the, butt, with the belt all the time. So that is this one. And with this, I have these um, cute little gloves that are from Lululemon. These are actually running gloves. They have a little place in here to put your, to put your house key where you're out on a run. But I just love them. They're so light. I keep them in my pockets of my go-to jacket. And, you know, they're great because I can actually do things with my hands. Um, and these aviators I picked up at, um, where did I get these? I want to say American Eagle. And I like it because the lens is slightly purple and I feel like it goes with the slightly purple tint to this jacket. And those are my favorite coats for chic coat dressing for, for crazy, chilly winter weather. So I hope that it's warm where you are and that you're having a great day. So take care, bye-bye.